Okay, on the uh, back to your carriage, we have this tooth assembly in the back, and you can see the teeth are kind of pointed a little bit of an angle. Well, this is your backspace rack. So, what you would do, you would come over here and hit your backspace. Yeah, there you go. See how that's... See, this is your... Keeps this from turning. And then, that thing moves it back one, one space. Alright. This comes over here and stops the carriage from moving that way. And then... As you're pulling this thing back, see how it locks it in? See it locks in so your carriage won't move now. And then, as you're pulling that back, that tooth is moving this carriage back one tooth. Okay, we're going to take our this right here is part of the nips. It's part of the tab got certain got these little handles on the back so you can flip them up and then slide them over it's slowly sliding you can see it's kind of where there we go so you could set these like for your invoices or whatever whatever you're working for and you set these in place and then when you push the tab key, it stops at each one of these as it's going down the line. So that's another one of those ingenious things. So anyway, we're going to take this off now. We've got this screw that goes through that's got a... Oh boy. It's got a pin that comes through into this rod here and the same thing on this side there's a screw there's a screw right here that's got to come off this will take this will take the keyboard loose from your backspace The spring action, it comes from this piece of spring steel right here that's riding on the frame. That's the only piece. There's not another one on the other side over here. But you can see as the back space is going, it's doing the same thing. I mean, the tab, the tab space is doing the same thing as the back space. It just works a little differently. See, that's the back space. This is your tab space. Now everything's got its own little function. Okay, we got one side loose. The cheap screwdriver. Okay, uh oh. There's a shim right here that just fell, so we gotta make sure we put that shim back in place. So we're gonna set that right there. Hopefully I won't forget it. Evidently that shim is very important. Okay, we're down to where we're almost to the inside of all this stuff. I really... I hate to think of taking this thing out because that spring really feels good and, and wound up. But now we're down into the, the main... See, this is okay, this is your key, any key hitting, and you can see all this stuff how it's working in there. Okay, this is your tab key, which we've already got it disconnected. Uh, the shift key somewhere else. This is our backspace. 
This is our spacer bar. It's got a spring on it. I'll bet this I bet this whole thing here is is an assembly. It's probably just put in as one part. Okay, the next thing we're gonna take off is evidently this is a whole assembly here. And that's part of this thing that I was trying to figure out. So we've got two screws, one here and one up in here. There's one on the other side just like it. So we need to take those two screws out. But before we can take this thing out, we've got to take this off and hook it somewhere. And uh, why don't I just hook it on that little, that's a doodaddy thing there. Okay. Uh, we've got that on there. Let me take this other screw out here. All right, let's see if this thing will... Let's see if it'll come out of here. Get this thing around here. There's a spring right here we've got to... Well, it's broke anyway. Okay, so we won't have to worry about that one until we get ready to go back on with it. See if I can figure out how to get this thing out of there. Oh, this little screw right there was a booger bear to get loose. Yeah, it's coming off. But before I take it off, uh oh. Oh boy, I'm in trouble now. Some bearings just fell out. One there and one there. So that means this assembly down inside there is an assembly all by itself and this is not going to come out so evidently this whole mechanism comes out. Okay I had to take these two screws out back here and it looks like maybe the whole assembly may come out now so we're going to give it a try because I got to get it out because all the bearings fell out of this thing. So I've got to do something with this thing. I think I'm going to do is stick a screwdriver through this thing right there. There, that should hold it in place. So I can get this thing off of here, I hope. But we're hung on this thing, so we need to take the screw out of this one. This screw, somebody has chiseled the back of it so it won't come out. So evidently it has to come off on the other end. Well, I've had to take another screw loose. This one right here on the back of that assembly. I didn't even have to take it loose from the bottom. So as a matter of fact, before I take this one out, I'm gonna hook that bottom one back up. Thing I'll have to watch for is uh, some of these screws have a little shoulder on them right there. You can see the threads. And then you can see that little shoulder back there. So I got to make sure I put the right screw back in there because if it doesn't have that shoulder on it, it's eventually going to wear out and won't work. Then we just have to slowly start it. Make sure we get our shoulder to go in there. So, Okay, now we got to hook our little spring back up. These are not called ice picks anymore. I don't know what the heck they're called, but that's what they used to be called. See, so set it on top and then just slide it right off onto it. There we go. Okay, we got that hooked back up. This is our. This is back to our. Uh, all that that uh, leather spring thing. I had to rehook it over here. Okay, now let's go back to the top again. Mm. 
Well, I found another part that's got to come off. There's a little hoop nanny right here. Picking up on trying to get it off of that lever. There we go. Boy, putting that back on is going to be a trip. Putting all of this back together is going to be a trip. What I'm having to do is undo, not, not this thing, the thing under it. You can barely see it. Screw right there. Loosen that up a little bit. And then there's another screw. There we go. Try it loose. Now let's see if I can't get it off of there. This is that uh, switching from red to black buttons. Look like there's a screw. see it shows to be a screw right there that we can take loose all right now it's loose that's another one of those shoulder screws <laughs> 